Bloxy 2's dynamic data block can do even more than just create custom loops. It can also help in creating custom templates to give your website a unique look. In this short video demonstration, we will take a look at how to create a custom hero section for our posts where information such as the featured image, title, date, and so on is displayed. Before continuing, it is recommended to watch the other parts of the dynamic data blog video tutorial in order to help you easily understand what are the available options and what each of them does. To start, navigate to the WordPress dashboard. Since we're going to be building a custom hero section for our posts, we'll use the content blocks system to do this. Click content blocks on the left sidebar and then create a new one. For our demonstration, we will insert a simple block structure that takes care of the main layout. Please note that this block is purely for demonstration and you will not find it as a reusable block in your setup and it is your responsibility for creating the general layout of the hero section. The first element that we'll need to insert for our custom hero section is the featured image to give readers a rough idea of what the article is about. Insert a dynamic data block and check out the options sidebar. We have previously noted that the dynamic data block supports a broad range of data, including images. In this scenario, we'll select the featured image data source, as this will represent the featured image of a post when it will be viewed on the front end. As the options for the dynamic data block are contextual, since we have selected the featured image as the source, we'll get various image controls. Pick your desired options and continue. Next up, we'll take care of the author of the post and its avatar. Insert another dynamic data block and choose author avatar as the content source. We'll also need to take care of the author name, so insert one more dynamic data block and choose author as the content source. Now that we have inserted the author's name, let's add a label to it so users can easily understand what each piece of data means. For the dynamic data block that takes care of the author name, look over at the before, after, and fallback fields. These can help you add a label before or after the output of the block, or even a fallback placeholder in case a post might not have anything assigned to that data source. As an added bonus, these fields also support rudimentary HTML tags, so we can do something like italicize the label and add a break line so that the output gets rendered under the label, not immediately after. Continuing, let's take care of the published date so that users know exactly how fresh the content is that they're looking at. The process is very similar to the one for the author data. Simply insert a new dynamic data block and choose the post date as the data source. We can also use the before field to add a label noting when this post was published. All great so far? Our Euro section is starting to take shape. We have a few more data points that we need to add, so let's continue with the title of the post. Just like we have done so far, insert a new dynamic data block. By default, the title data source is selected, so we do not need to do anything here. But also by default, the dynamic data block renders its output as a div tag, which might not work for our title. Ideally, a heading tag would work better, so we can use the dynamic data block's properties to change the HTML output to a heading one tag. Depending on your color palette, it may be necessary to also change the text color of this block to ensure proper visibility. There's one more data source that we need to take care of, and then we're pretty much done. And this is the category where this post was filed under. You've guessed it, another dynamic data block will be necessary to display the category. In the data source pane, choose the terms source. Since these options are contextual and dependent on the assigned taxonomies to a specific post type, you may have additional options to choose from after selecting the terms data source. In our case, the default categories is perfect. Once again, we'll take advantage of the before after fields so that we can add a label noting which the data source is. As a little bonus, these before and after fields are really powerful and let you think way outside the box. Actually, it won't be anywhere near the box. Check out this super nice trick. We can open an HTML tag in the before field and close it in the after field so that the output of the dynamic data block can be enclosed in that custom HTML tag. So in order to stylize just the output of the dynamic data block, 
we'll open a small tag with some additional styles at the end of the before field and close it on the after field. Awesome, we're very close to the finish line. Before we go to the front end, note a little bonus related to the content blocks. In some cases, you may want to preview your changes before committing to them or simply want to get a feel for how things might fall into place. With the content blocks preview system, we can load pretty much any post, page or product from the website in the editor preview window. The preview will then load all of the associated data for the post, including matters such as custom fields, if they have been assigned and let you preview how things might look. And one final step, do not forget to set up the display conditions and location for this template. Now we are ready to go to the front end to check things out. And voila, everything works as expected. Since we have assigned this custom hero section to our posts, each post will get the general layout of the template added at the top of it, while the dynamic data block handles the heavy lifting and displays the current posts associated data such as the title, featured image, and so on. Great stunning custom templates effortlessly with Bloxy 2's dynamic data block. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy 2 has to offer, continue onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.